Good morning, Rebel Nation. I'm Anastasia Bruvieska. And I'm Nahama Marone, here with your Rebel News. I woke up on the wrong side of my head, been looking for the bright side instead. So many times I've been let down, but that never washed my spirit out. I've tasted blood while on the ground. I say the words, this too shall pass. I woke up on the wrong side of my head, been looking for the bright side instead. We're back in it again, bringing the original, always imitated, never duplicated live news. School's almost out with only a couple more weeks until summer break. Are you excited, Nahama? I am, but we still have work to do before then. While we begin to get ready with days free from any homework, here in the 93 Rebel News, we see it as our responsibility to provide you with the most information we can before and about the upcoming 2020-21 school year. I also want to continue to dedicate time to look back at the memories we have made and will always cherish from these past years. Speaking of information, today I'm sitting here with Ms. Absher. How are you doing, Ms. Absher? I'm doing great. How are you, ladies? Doing good. Um, how do you plan on moving forward with choir and orchestra for the upcoming school year? Uh, string orchestra, we just started this class this year. It's first period and it's for students who are experienced uh, string orchestra players. And we already know about four incoming freshmen that are coming into our program from current middle school. And we have plans to purchase new instruments, new music, and to hopefully do festival next year which we're really excited about. That sounds awesome. Um, who can students contact if they have any more questions about this? Students can contact me through my uh, work email, which is uh, Sharon underscore Absher at kernhigh.org. And um, they can also, you can also speak to your counselor if you have questions about joining orchestra. As far as choir goes, um, Choir is a little bit different than orchestra. You don't have to have any experience to join. And we are looking for new students to join choir next year. It's a great opportunity to be active, build your confidence, meet new people. And next year we plan on doing a big end of the year trip. So hopefully school won't get canceled like it did this year. <laughs> um, thank you so much for joining us today and giving us a bit of your time. Thank you. This past Tuesday, we saw some of our very own South High staff out there in the South High parking lot saying hi to those who are picking up their lunch. But don't worry, if you missed it, they'll be out there again this Monday from 11 to 12.30. Don't be shy to wave hi as you pass by. That's about it for us this week. Before we head off, here at the Rebel News, we'd like to, um, we'd like to continue with the senior memories. With school coming to a close so soon, we have to unfortunately take time to reflect on the school year coming to an end. Seniors have had a really hard time these past couple of weeks, but they've been keeping the rebel spirit up. So without further ado, let's take a look at some more of our senior memories. Hi, my name is Kimberly and I'm a senior at South High. And one of my greatest memories of high school was being able to be a part of Miss Kelly's sewing class during my junior and senior year of high school, where I learned how to sew due to Miss Kelly making this class possible and her mom coming in as well and teaching us. I got to learn how to sew and I went into the class knowing nothing about sewing and came out knowing so much about it. And I'm really thankful about it because it was a nice way to de-stress after having my classes at the end of the day. And I got to work on things from start to finish and see the ending product. And it's a great experience to work alongside some of my best friends as well. And one of my favorite things that I made during uh, this class was this little baggie here where we even learned how to quilt and everything. So yeah, uh, Miss Kelly's class was one of my favorite memories throughout high school. And I'm really, really glad I got to take part in her class. So thank you, Miss Kelly. So my absolute favorite memories throughout my high school career have occurred specifically throughout my first and third year. And these have been at SST, the School for Scientific Thought at UC Santa Barbara. And so you like apply and you get to go for a session, which is for like five weeks, but it's just like every Saturday of those five weeks. And so we go to like, we go on a bus like super early in the morning, like at 5 a.m. And then we get there 
and I feel like it's a really good opportunity to learn about like STEM and things that you wouldn't learn in class and to me it's super fun like the bus rides with your friends and then going to like the beach afterwards or the library and just exploring the campus honestly like the courses are super interesting and it's definitely like something that I always used to look forward to throughout like those weeks but not just that like aside from like the education that you get there like the memories that you're able to make with your friends I know I've had like some of my best like moments laughing with my friends there and it's things that I'll never forget and that's something I'm very grateful for. Hey guys, I'm Ruby Polito and I'm a senior. Um, my favorite high school memory has to be my senior night for a band because it was just an amazing night that I will not forget. Starting from the ceremony that we hold in the small gym with our senior jackets and with everyone there in the Rebel Regiment and then onto the field with my family, my friends and my fellow classmates and my teachers and it was just amazing to have everyone there and then to performing sadly my last home game performance um, which was truly amazing because band is the best thing to happen to me in high school. Well, there's other best things but band is definitely my favorite. So I would have to thank Miss J and everyone at South who really just provided such an amazing experience for me for my high school years. And yeah, my favorite memory has to be my senior night. Mom and I, we hope we were able to put a smile on your face today. We're out.